your ancestors would have been in China for like thousands of years, right? <clears throat> as were our ancestors in China, and it was literally like point one percent of our family lineage, right? That decided to move somewhere else, and so this notion of like an identity crisis、um, makes total sense to me. Yeah, for sure, totally makes sense. And you know, if you've if like if you've been somewhere for like thousands of years, like an Eskimo or whatever, right?、Mm. And you just get tied to that piece of land, and and like you you kind of wonder like why did they stay there for so long in such a difficult place like the desert? Right. And it's just because they're so tied to that culturally and socially. Yeah. And you know, then you know, our parents decided to uproot the families and move somewhere. And then you have an identity crisis.、Um, I think that like there are pe- there are millions of people, billions of people around the world、right. that are starting to experience that identity crisis because people are becoming more mobile、sure. and we're able to move around the world.、Um, we, you guys, like kind of talked earlier a little bit about,、uh, you know, like the notion of like role models.、Um, you know, not enough Asian writers,、mm. not enough Asian presidents,、mm. not even one, except、mm. for Xi. Um, <laughs> he's, he's a great、uh, one. Not enough fill in the blank, right? Right.、Um, so there's a lot to kind of like talk about there.、Um, what、uh, I guess who were your role models growing up? Yeah,、um, like、Asian or in general? Anyone? Okay. And do you think that there's like a need? Like, why do we feel the need yeah, to, to have to Asian even, role, role to models? To even define it, yeah, be like Asian role models、right. are role models,、yeah. right? Right. Why do we have to categorize it like that? That's a bad. Yeah, yeah, yeah for <laughs> sure, for sure.、Um, you know, I think the word role model is really interesting.、Um, I, I didn't have any. I, I don't really know how to answer that. Like, my father was absent from my life at a very young age, and my mom never remarried or anything.、Um, and I think now I understand the importance of having a strong male role model, as you said, in your life.、Um, I, I didn't really have any.、Yeah. You know, whether that be athletes or. Business people or personal, I don't. I don't really know. Now I do actually. You know, like I'm. I'm working very hard at trying to make change and be a better person now that I'm thirty.、Yeah. So now I would say, <laughs> as ironic as it sounds, people like Joe Rogan. Yeah. Yeah. It, and it sounds like that's driving you, right? Like, I mean, Justin asks you, kind of, you know, like、sure. why you're doing this、For、and、sure. sort of what's the origin story. Yeah. But it sounds like,、um, you know, you. You want to tap into like Asians everywhere. I totally that it actually fascinates、yeah. me, and I, I would not to draw like a clear distinction between like Chinese people in China versus、mm. Chinese people outside of China,、mm. like because I respect both, but it's two different worlds, right?、Sure. But like whenever I travel anywhere in the world, I remember I was、uh, taking my parents about five years ago to the、um, the redwoods in California,、okay. and there's this、um, city called like Arcata or something like、uh-huh. that, and it's like, I mean, it's pretty white, you know. Yeah, there yeah, was yeah. like a Chinese restaurant there. I'm like, <laughs> hey,、You'd、can like, we go to the Chinese restaurant? And, 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 and my yeah, mom's yeah. like, I wouldn't, I wouldn't, I wouldn't trust a Chinese right, restaurant、yeah. there. I, I had, Why are you going to the USD <laughs> Chinese exactly, food? Right? And it was yeah, like,、sure. I had no intention of eating the Chinese food. I just、mm. wanted to meet the people there. Yeah, like, yeah, yeah. Why the fuck are you in Arcata, dude? This is what's up. Who comes here? For sure. Like. <laughs> to me, it's fascinating.、Okay. Like when you talked about like finding all the Asian people around the world that、right. kind of grew up and sort of had this culture shock of like, or not culture shock, but、yeah. maybe like split identity、yeah. of like thousands of years in one place. And、yeah. you know, Chinese people are super duper traditional. So、mm. like from an early age, you're basically like indoctrinated in Chinese culture because like it's the most powerful culture, the the longest living culture, right? We just kind of forget that because we grew up, you、mm. know. Um, overseas, um, but、uh, it fascinates me that then you grow up in a different culture. So you're kind of like in this split identity. There's no culture that's I think is so so like deep and rich、mm, mm. as like Chinese Chinese culture,、right. and that's why our parents held on to it so strongly. Right. Then you go to another place which is like 180 degrees different. Right. We I grew up in Texas. Okay. And. So you don't really know who you are, like what role models you have. If you're like a white dude growing up in America, like role models are all around you.、Mm. Just like close your eyes and pick one.、Yeah. If you're an Asian person, like Bruce Lee, like like, and so I think we're searching for these things because, like you said, there's more Asians than anyone else, any other race in the world, and so it's silly to like say that every Asian should be an accountant or a software engineer. We can be anything we want to be, but growing up. 
were we able to find those people that connected back to like what we wanted to do? Like right. if Howie, like growing up, you want to be like a rock star filmmaker. Like who would you look up to? And well, yeah, exactly. And I used to get shit from my family, yeah. right. you know, because to be like, what the hell are you doing? And I'm the only one in my family yeah. that, that pursued that path. Yeah. And they'd be like, what you know yeah yeah, for sure for sure so is the takeaway here that kind of an identity crisis is kind of almost like a very universal asian thing yeah for abcs especially if if i can just kind of jump in quickly um i actually me personally i don't view it as an identity crisis right i feel like the word crisis is has such a negative attachment well you use the word right that's why i said i wanted to jump in (laughs) and correct that because i think that that word is just so used constantly um like i feel like this is your part of what's going to come next Right. And like, I think that's just, that's really awesome. It's great that there are things we need to work on, but that's, we're going to work on them, you know? And I, when you see the younger Asian kids these days, they very, they are different because I'm right on the edge. I'm on the edge between millennials, Gen X, right? I think it's before me. And, and yeah, I think so. Gen Z. Gen Z. So Gen, Gen Z, Z is Gen after. X. Gen X is before. Oh, okay. Yeah, yeah, yeah. Gen Y. Yeah. So like, I'm right on the edge and it, it's really cool to see. Um, yeah, I didn't really have any role models growing up. Now I try to look for them, right, um, through media. I think that's actually one of the really cool things about doing shit like this or YouTube or TV and media in general is now with the internet you can see you can so it. many people. I think yeah. that's actually probably one good thing about social media actually yeah. is. Well, 